Hi, I'm Bahar Tiktashian, editor at large at Shape Magazine, and you're watching our Fit and Famous video series. And today we are so excited to have <laughs> actress, blogger, and upcoming book author yes. Haley Duff. Haley, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yes, I am so excited too because I have been following your blog and you've got some delicious recipes on there. Thanks, girl. Tell me, like, how did you get into this whole food thing? You know, I, um, I've i loved cooking for my girlfriends for a long time and my family and my mom's a great cook. My dad grills a lot. My sister bakes, uh, usually when she's kind of in a bad mood. But, <laughs> um, so, it, you know, it's been a part of my life ever since I was a kid. Right. And then a couple years ago, I, I moved into my first house and I had this great kitchen. And I was looking at it like, I've got to learn how to use this thing, you know? Yeah. And um, so I just kind of started experimenting and trying different things that I saw on Pinterest or, you know, in other cookbooks. And it just kind of snowballed from there. And then I decided to post a recipe online. And it all of a sudden, people were like, you know, writing in about it. And it just kind of snowballed from that. And now I have my book coming out, which is so crazy. I know. So the blog is called The Real Girl's Kitchen. Yes. And your book is also called of the, the Real same Girl's Kitchen. I like the <laughs> consistency. It's out Thanks. in October. And what I like about the recipes is they seem like they're very, very, you know, easy to follow and yeah. they're not intimidating. Well, that was one of the things I really wanted to accomplish with the book was for anyone that's never made anything to look at it and be like, I got this. Like, I can do this, you know? And, um still have like a beautiful presentation and be healthy and simple and real food, you know, nothing like processed and everything's farmer's market friendly and yeah and what I'm so impressed with is you said that a lot of the pictures or most of the pictures in the book you photographed yourself yeah that is really something I know it was actually something I was really surprised by during the process of making the book is how much I fell in love with food styling yeah um, I knew that you know I liked eating food that was pretty but to be able to see it come to life and be an instant gratification for like all this creative energy that I had, it was um, very fulfilling. Right. So this is obviously Shape Magazine. We were yes. very, you know, interested in health and nutrition and Aren't we wellness. Aren't we all like yes. addicted to that? We are. So are your recipes like are they kind of things that you can have every day or are they special yeah, occasions? I mean, diet. The things? majority of them are very healthy. Okay. You know, I think um, obviously there's a balance to to the way that we all should eat. You right. know, I don't think you should deny yourself a bite of the dessert or the fried thing that you want every once in a while, but then like clean your act up the next day, you know, try to have some more kale the next day or don't eat anything that's like too bad for you. Yes. Um, so that balance is also reflected in the book. There's very healthy stuff and then there's like a couple good little cheat things. Too. Right, and we all need the cheat things as well. Yeah. So what is your philosophy on like exercise and diet? Like what, how does it incorporate into you your know, own life? It's funny because I've gone through so many different phases. I think like we all have of trying different workout things and exercises and um, I was, I was working out so hard. I was like really killing myself. I was boxing, I was like doing all these things and I wasn't really seeing that big of a result. Okay. And a friend of mine was like, listen, I think like your life is kind of hectic right now. Maybe you should be doing exercises that like chill you out instead of amp you up. And I started doing more yoga and Pilates and Pure Bar, which I'm obsessed with. I don't yeah. know if you've yes, ever done Pure it's Bar. it's very difficult, oh, but it's, it's like the worst. Workout. Yeah. But it's great. Um, <laughs> And I started like seeing myself kind of slim down through that. So I think, you know, again, it's the balance of the two. It's like do the really sweaty thing and then do the thing that's like more of a mental workout. You know, holding those yoga poses is totally a workout, but it's mental. And so we talked a little bit about diet and nutrition. And uh -huh. I, of course, love to ask beauty questions. Oh, good. I, mean, I love this You are even more beautiful in person than, oh, than you. you are in your pictures. So tell us, what is like, you know, what do you focus most on? Is it your hair? Is it like your makeup? What, what makes um, you feel most confident? Most confident? Yeah. Uh, comfortable things. Like hair that I'm not fussing with all the time. Okay. Makeup that I'm not like worried is going to smear or anything like that. Like for most confident, I go for comfortable and easy. Yeah. Um, but like beauty tricks and stuff, my main focus is my skin. Like that's what I... I'm and the most so upset good. when yeah. I have a zit. Like that's yeah. when I really have a bad day. Yeah. Um, my hair, I just kind of like... It, get, it can get put into a bun. Yeah. But if you've got like breakouts and stuff, that's what really kind of puts the damper on the day. Um, okay. So I try to uh, 
really make sure that I wash my face really well before bed. Mm -hmm. And I have this new serum that I'm obsessed with. I don't know if you- Which one? Sunday Riley. Oh, I've used the uh, Sunday Riley product. The good jeans? Yes, yes. It's my favorite thing in the world. Okay. So uh, that's like my go-to thing every night. But that and a good eye cream. And I use her eye cream too, the start over. I see. What about facials and stuff? Are you into that? I'm really bad at that. Really? Yeah, and I love getting them. Yeah. And I just never make the time to do it. Like I'm okay. definitely overdue by like two months. Well, no, I mean the basics <laughs> of like washing and exfoliating. And yeah, the maintenance serum. of that I think can you know, draw out the facial to facial time a little bit longer. But. Yeah. Well, definitely check out Haley's new book, The Real Girl's Kitchen. Yes. You can pre-order on Amazon mm -hmm. and in October you can actually find it in bookstores. So we I know, are I'm so, so excited. excited for you. And if you can't wait for the recipes, you can go to the blog, realgirlskitchen.com. Yes. Haley Duff, thank you so much for thank visiting. Thank you. I had a really nice time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. For more celebrity videos, workout tips, and tips on shaping your life, go to shape.com mm -hmm. slash videos.